Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to another video where I paint baseballs. So in this video, I had a special request from a good friend of mine, the Ticket Leprechaun. So if you guys come over from Jake's video, I really appreciate you checking me out and the support here. And I am going to be painting the exact ball that I sent to Jake in the mail. So if you just want to sit back and relax and tell you a little story about Jake as we go along here. So I met Jake through Drew. Yes, the Drew. If you're coming from his channel, you know what I'm talking about. I met Jake a little over a year ago and actually uh, I met him at Drew's house. They were working on the Drew purchase and everything and, and Drew told me, hey, you should come over. I think you should meet this guy. I think you'd really like him. Of course, we hit it off. We're both huge Braves fans. Uh, so we started talking, got into it, became buddies. And at that meeting, I actually was talking to Drew about the potential of painting baseballs and what he thought about it. And so, of course, I asked Jake, too, since he was on YouTube, and they both thought it was a really good idea, um, and they were excited to, you know, see what I could produce. So, at that point, I really began kind of toying around with this idea of, of painting on baseballs, and I've actually done two different balls for Drew uh, that I'll show you guys at a later date, and uh, I was talking with Jake, and Jake reached out and said, hey man, um, I know you're kind of launching this YouTube thing. He said, I'd love to help you out however I can. So we talked and we came up with the idea to do a video together. I would paint a ball for him and you know he would interview me on his channel. And so that's how we came across this. So Jake, being the huge Braves fan that he is, I knew he was gonna want something Atlanta Braves related. Uh, but we weren't sure exactly where it was going to go, so we kind of threw some ideas around, and he settled on the idea of a logo ball. And uh, he wanted to do several different logos from throughout the years, and I, I liked it. I thought it sounded really, really cool, um, except for one thing that we'll get to in just a minute. So we, uh, we talked back and forth, came up with the idea of what we wanted to do, for the logos and I sent him some designs, I sent him some ideas. He agreed, he said, let's do it. And I started painting and this is the result. The old school A just looks really, really good on the ball. Um, the red with the white outline and then the blue over top of it, it just, it really pops off the ball. It looks fantastic. I, I've not done a logo ball yet. This was the first true logo ball that, that I've done. Uh, I've done single logos on a ball, but I'd never done a ball with a bunch of different logos on it. And I'm really happy that Jake requested this because it just turned out really good. So this part is what I was a little worried about. So if you guys watch Jake's video, I mentioned in there and he mentioned also that I didn't necessarily consider myself an artist. It, I never really imagined that I would be doing this. And when Jake reached out to me, uh, you know, I asked him, well, what logos do you want on the ball? and we went through everything and he said definitely the screaming indian and i'm like oh my goodness this is gonna be so so difficult oh i was really sweating it but it turned out absolutely fantastic Now full disclosure on this, my wife is an art major and she actually helped with this. She, 
she's the one that kind of inspired me to attempt to do this and I do paint most of everything uh, but she does help me out with things and she helped out with the Screaming Indian and she crushed it. Man that looks so good. And again adding the blue around the outside of it with the white inside the red it just it pops so good off of that ball man it looked great I wrote in Jake's letter that I sent him I said once I finished with this ball I really didn't want to send it to him because it just it turned out so good and this was really the main reason uh, this screaming Indian that is on the ball just looks it looks so good on it with that light blue back background and the red Indian it was fantastic I'm so happy with how it turned out on opening day I'm gonna do a massive giveaway almost all the balls that will be have debuted on my channel all the way up until opening day I'm gonna be giving them away how that's gonna work is every time you comment on any of my videos from when I started my channel until opening day is gonna count as one entry into the raffle and then I'm going to draw names on opening day. The grand prize winner, the person whose name I draw first, will win a custom ball. It can be a logo ball, a jersey ball, whatever. We'll talk it about. We'll figure out those details. From that point on, I'll keep drawing names. So the second person that I draw will get first pick from all of the available balls. And we'll go all the way down until I've given away every single ball. And that's going on on opening day. And finally the tomahawk I was a little worried about the tomahawk as well just because it was gonna be so small on the ball but there's a lot of features that you need to add into it to encap encapsulate it um, specifically you know the outline around it but again my wife helped me out with this one and man did it turn out so so good I can't wait to do more Braves balls in the future uh, definitely have a few ideas for balls that I want to do for myself to display in my collection but also just the idea of the logo ball I'm really really excited about potentially doing logo balls in the future so here we'll take a close-up look at everything that tomahawk just looks fantastic on there man it's so good the old school a can't beat it the new a beautiful the old B, and then the screaming Indian. Whoo! You gotta give me a thumbs up on that one. Man, it looks good. So that is the Atlanta ball. But wait, there's more. Jake didn't know this going into it, but I wanted to do something special for him for helping me out and promoting my channel, so I threw in a bonus. Here it is. If you know Jake, he's a huge North Carolina fan, so I decided to do him a Tar Heel ball as a bonus and throw it in. So here's the Tar Heel ball. Jake, I really appreciate you helping me out with this and uh, you know taking the time to interview me on your channel. And I appreciate everyone that has come over from Jake's video to watch this. If you didn't come from Jake's video, I highly suggest you check him out. He does a lot of collecting, a lot of vintage stuff, and he dresses up in leprechaun outfits. So go check him out. He's the Ticket Leprechaun. I'm Slugger Studios. Thanks so much for watching.